PeopleSoft FSCM Image 33 is the third image to utilize two PeopleTools features delivered in PeopleTools 857, configuring drop zones and personalizing grids for selected FSCM fluid pages. Drop zones enable you to add editable or display-only transaction fields to existing PeopleSoft fluid pages, eliminating the need to customize delivered objects. Use the Configure Drop Zones page and search for the component ID. FSCM Application Fundamentals documentation lists the enabled components for drop zones. All page IDs that are drop zone enabled for that component are listed. For fluid grids, use the Download to Excel All button to load grid data to an Excel spreadsheet. Use the Find All button to search for data in any available grid column. Use the Sort All button to sort on column headers. This completes our demonstration of the FSCM uptake of PeopleTools 857 fluid features, drop zones, and grids. PeopleSoft FSCM has integrated the Enterprise Components Delegation Framework feature for approvals. This allows you to choose a proxy who can approve certain transactions on your behalf. When setting up a proxy, you determine the time frame. The following approval transactions in FSCM are enabled for delegation. This completes our discussion of the Enterprise Components Delegation Framework feature. In PeopleSoft Image 33, we enable asset management and maintenance management to integrate with Oracle Internet of Things Asset Monitoring Cloud Service, a fully integrated solution designed to deliver real-time visibility into your assets using connected sensors. With this integration, you can synchronize select asset data with Oracle Internet of Things or Oracle IoT improving asset tracking and maintenance by accessing real-time information about an asset's location, health, performance, and utilization. The assets tracked in Oracle IoT are defined in Asset Management. We provide the Upload Assets to IoT page to export assets from the Asset Management Repository to Oracle IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud Service. Use this page to assign IoT organization place name, and asset type attributes to every asset you export. Oracle IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud Service provides map-based interactive visualizations of asset location and health in asset clusters, enabling you to quickly identify the physical locations of your assets. Select an asset cluster to explore the individual assets in more detail. Asset Monitoring delivers predefined Key Performance Indicators, or KPIs, displayed along the bottom of the map view, which provides information on asset health, utilization, and availability. You can also configure custom KPIs specific to your organization. Select an asset to view an image, as well as a list of the sensors associated with that asset. Sensor data is real-time. In this example, the sensors show data for engine oil pressure, engine temperature, engine vibration, and so forth. You can access sensor data history in graph format for the last 30 days. This is particularly useful when investigating asset health. Use sensor data to create incidents based on the rules that you define in Oracle IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud Service. These incidents represent events that require attention. The incidents in Oracle IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud Service trigger condition-based monitoring alerts linked to PeopleSoft Maintenance Management. Use the Incident Details Grid on the Condition-Based Maintenance Alert page to access details related to out-of-tolerance alerts for an IoT-connected asset. From here, you can create a work order and schedule asset maintenance, reducing asset downtime. This completes our demonstration of Oracle Internet of Things Asset Monitoring Cloud Service. In Image 33, PeopleSoft enhances VAT default subpages, making them available in the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. This completes our discussion of the VAT Setup Pages in Fluid feature.
In Update Image 33, Fluid Simple Journal enhancements include Simple Journal and Simple Journal template copying, document sequencing, VAT detail viewing for specific business units, and Simple Journal deleting. Copy existing Simple Journals using the Copy Journal option. The Copy Journal has all the entries from the Source Journal, is generated with a new journal ID, and can be viewed and modified. Access document sequence details using the doc sequence link. These details are generated for the associated business unit, which only appears when document sequencing is set up for the associated business unit. In the document sequence modal window, provide a reason to change the document type. View VAT details for the simple journal using the VAT link, which appears only for VAT enabled journal lines. You can delete unposted journals that are saved and have a document sequence after entering a reason for the deletion. Only journals that are enabled for document sequencing at the business unit level can be deleted. This completes our demonstration of Expand Simplified Journal Entry in Fluid Enhancements. PeopleSoft adds several enhancements to account payables with Image 33. The Copy Voucher icon on the Payables Voucher search page allows you to copy existing voucher information when creating a new voucher. Use Tax Amount displays on Voucher Sales Use Tax Summary page. A 1000 separator is added for the Gross Amount field on the Voucher Payment. A Ship To field is now available on the Voucher Maintenance page. A new search criteria called Approval Status has been added to the Voucher Mass Maintenance page. The Business Unit field now contains an IN operator on the Voucher Match Workbench page. A Payment Note field is available on the Selective Payment Update page to update payment notes. This completes our discussion on Copy Voucher and other enhancements. PeopleSoft enhances the Supplier Registration Review and Update process with a new review step added to the Supplier and Bidder Registration process. This step allows editors to update registration information before the supplier or bidder is approved without having to send the request back to the requester for the update. To determine whether editors can edit registration information during the approval process, access the Supplier Request System Setup page. The Supplier Request Options section has two options to select if editors can make modifications. Editors use the Review Edit Request page to search for registration requests. Once an editor selects a particular request, a detailed view of the request is displayed. The editor reviews the request and, if necessary, makes changes to the information using the Edit icon. Then the editor routes the request for approval. This completes our discussion of the Supplier Registration Review and Update Enhancement. PeopleSoft has enhanced the bidder and supplier registration and supplier change requests processes. Data fields on the supplier change request pages are also available on the supplier and bidder registration pages and vice versa. The supplier change request page is used to update or change supplier information. The data fields that appear on this page are determined by templates defined for supplier change requests. Identical data fields also display on the Supplier Registration page because the templates used for bidder and supplier registration and supplier change request processes have been modified to maintain identical data. This completes our discussion of Supplier Request Enhancements. With PeopleSoft Image 33, Supplier Contract Management provides more control over the administration of contract documents and document authorization. The User Preferences Supplier Contract Management page includes the Delete Documents option, which provides the administrator with increased control over who can delete documents. Document owners and super users can be restricted from deleting documents, 
even when granted full authorization access. In addition, you can enable or disable the existing bypass approval option regardless of whether full authorization is granted. The Authorized Document Access page allows you to enable multiple users to act on behalf of a single document administrator. Previously, you'd have to access and update the User Preferences Supplier Contract Management page multiple times to add the same document administrator to different users. You can also use the corresponding authorization options to define privileges for each user. The Delete User Preference page allows you to remove all user preference settings for multiple users. The Delete process removes user preferences from two components, User Preferences, Supplier Contract Management, and Authorized Document Access. This completes our discussion of the Enhanced Document Management Permissions feature. In Update Image 33, Enhanced Integration with Adobe Sign allows you to embed attachments into documents for digital signatures. This provides the document signer visibility to all associated documentation. You can attach multiple files. However, Adobe Sign only accepts PDF, doc, text, and JPEG file types. Documents of other file types must be converted into a supported file format before it can be sent to Adobe Sign for signature. This completes our discussion of the Embed Attachments for Adobe Sign feature. PeopleSoft enhances the Copy Existing Asset feature to copy preventive maintenance schedules. This functionality is enabled when the Copy PM Schedule option is selected on the Asset Management Definition page. When the PM Schedules option is selected and an asset is copied, the associated preventive maintenance schedules are copied to the new asset. This completes our discussion of the Copy Asset and PM Schedule feature. Additional features also added for FSCM Update Image 33 include Expansion of chart fields, federal unexpired funding, add UPN for e settlement suppliers in Fluid, report netbook value for operating leased assets, and enhance preventative maintenance schedules and mass. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.